Monday, July 13th at around 11 a.m., the trial resumed at the High Court Chamber of International Crimes in Nyanza District with three judges hearing the case. Kalikstein Sabimana and his lawyer attended the proceedings from Majirajere Prison where he is being detained through a video link because of the measures in place to fight COVID-19. Judges and those seeking damages were in the courtroom in Nyanza. Sabimana, a former spokesperson of the FLN Militia Outfit, is facing 17 terror-related charges that include the formation of an illegal militia group, taking part in terrorism activities, conspiring and sensitizing people towards joining terrorism, killing, kidnapping, denying and undermining the genocide against the Tutsi, among others. The accused admits being the spokesperson of FLN but says he is not responsible for formation of this militia group. Sabimana says the terror group was formed on 16th of June 2016 by one Wilson Iratejeka and the accused on July 15th 2018. He told the court a crime he asked for leniency. Sayumana also told the court that he met Kayumba Nyamgasa, the leader of another militia outfit, RNC, together with three other young genocide survivors. During this meeting, Kayumba persuaded them into joining forces that seek to destabilize Rwanda. Sayumana immediately requested a meeting with another former RNC leader, Patrick, as the parties worked out the plan to attack Rwanda. The court pressed Sayumana Kariste on why he joined a terror group yet he was well aware of their intentions, for which he responded by saying that he assumed that his masters had the capacity to capture power in Kigali. Sabimana pleaded guilty to the charge of conspiring and sensitizing people from southern and western Rwanda towards joining terrorism, killing, kidnapping, denying and undermining the genocide against the Tutsi. He also took responsibility of terror attacks his group carried out in southwestern Rwanda, especially in Nyamagabe and Nyaruguru district in 2018. Saimana also told the court that he was never participated in a military training apart from the basic civic training he attended before joining the university. Six civil parties presented themselves to court seeking compensation from Sarimana from the damages done against them, mainly during the attacks his terror group carried out in Nyaruguru district. Those seeking compensation include Vincent Senjiyumva, who was the executive secretary of Nyabimata sector during the first attack and whose car was burnt by FLN militia. He says he was also physically injured during this attack in which two people were killed and scores of residents looted. The hearing was postponed until September 10, 2020. Jane Mutoni, reporting for RTV.